I was uh, thinking because of the epidemic, just doing a little experimenting and um, knowing a little bit about respiratory therapy. This is a standard CPAP machine and it's capable of going from 3 centimeters uh, HTO to 20 centimeters HTO, which is a pretty good boost. And I thought, well, how could you use this as a respirator if things really got desperate, which I doubt they will, but if they did, well, you'd have to have a circuit to allow the pressure of the CPAP machine to work during your inhale and then uh, allow you to open the valve to take the pressure off, but without losing a lot of the CPAP pressure. Uh, so how best to do that with standard CPAP hoses. So my thought was to use a small computer like a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino. I happen to have a Raspberry Pi, and an Arduino might be a better choice because it doesn't run a whole computer, and to hook it up with some servos to turn valves on and off in order to control the inspiration and expiration. Now this, of course, is only a very, very crude solution. It's not a true respirator. It's an assist for breathing. It uses an external mask, such as is commonly used with a CPAP machine, but it's, it's not bad. And there are plenty of places around the world where they use this uh, type of assist uh, for lack of uh, expensive uh, respirators, uh, which are much more complicated as well. Uh, but of course do a much better job. Um, in order to do it, you need uh, a little bit of an accessory. This is a, a Y tube. I did it with a 3D print uh, using an Ender 3D printer, but uh, they're cheap, they're accessible online. This is about the lowest cost type of CPAP machine you could ever get. It's about $350 uh, retail. And you would need a couple of extra uh, hoses. Additionally, you would be making a unit that didn't have controllable respir respiratory inhalation and exhalation phases. And by that, I mean this one doesn't have sensors. It doesn't trigger a breath when you ask for it or inhale like a respirator might do if you're in the on-demand uh, mode. Uh, this would be fixed mode. But on the other hand, um, it still doesn't prevent you from taking a breath. It'll never lock up. Either one or the other valves will be open. And so you'll never be in a situation where you're trying to draw a breath and you can't. Uh, this is currently being worked with uh, Python code. It uses a 12 volt power supply. This is a hobby power supply. You could use a battery, car battery, uh, in a real emergency. Um, you could use any power supply large enough to run the relays and the little uh, valves. These valves are like this. They're similar to laundry machine valves. Uh, these work on house current. Uh, the ones I'm using work on uh, 12 volt DC. They are uh, a bit bulkier. Uh, these are one inch. The smaller ones you couldn't pass enough air through. I'm sure there's cheaper, better ways to do it. It has some PVC coming out of the end of it just to match the uh, one inch NPT, a three quarter inch uh, PVC, a reduction to half inch because that's an easy size to get the standard CPAP tubing on. And I just put a little terminator on the end uh, to make the electrical connection easier. This is an example of the uh, Python code that runs it. Uh, it's really very simple. Um, it uses the uh, pinout for the Pi library, the RPI GPIO. It sets the inhale and exhale times in the code. and then either opens the inhale valve and closes the exhale valve or opens the exhale valve and closes the inhale valve. One valve is always open. You could even make an even cheaper version just by opening an exhale valve and 
letting the CPAP only build pressure during the inhale and just letting the whole pressure come down. But this will keep a little bit more pressure in the lungs uh, doing it this way, and it won't uh, make the CPAP cycle so forcefully um, when the uh, exhale valve opens, but it could also be done with just one valve. So just as an example, you run the program, uh, enter duration of inhale, let's say two, three seconds, enter duration of exhale, we'll say three seconds, and you'll see that once you do that, the servos that open and close the valves cycle every three seconds. So as you can see, the unit is cycling now. That's an exhale cycle, inhale cycle. You can kind of hear the wind coming out of it with the exhale and inhale cycle. And you can exhale cycle, inhale cycle, exhale cycle inhale cycle and that's the overview of it um, of course if the tubing weren't so long you would get a better faster build up of pressure they sell it in six foot lengths they also sell it in three foot and 18 inch lengths um, these little intermediate ones could be much shorter this one could be much shorter and um, of course I'm sure that you don't need such a big chunky valve just to do the air shut on and off this one's made for water uh, but it's quite effective. Uh, this one I have to change for a larger valve. That smaller one doesn't have enough airflow to make it effective. But essentially that is how the whole system works. A standard CPAP machine, a wide connector, a few extra hoses, a standard face mask, a Raspberry Pi, or in this case, or an Arduino to control it, and a little bit of Python code, and the 12-volt, uh, or it could be a battery, uh, the valves cost about $20, um, the extra hose is about $10, power supply, I have no idea, it's old, maybe $15, and then Raspberry Pi, probably about $35, the control board on top is about $6, and that's it. Um, as for uh, legal disclaimers, obviously I don't recommend anybody do this. Um, I don't know what the effects are. I don't know how effective it is. It's completely a stopgap measure. should only be used under the supervision of a doctor, etc. Uh, whatever other disclaimer you can think of.